In this video, I'm gonna cover the YouTube channel, The Savin Show. And he has a video, When You Only Read the King James Bible. And this is just a woman at first, and there's gonna be a guy. And it looks like ridicule in the video, like, oh, this is how you're gonna talk if you read the King James Bible. So first they kind of like poke fun at it. Now these are the words of God, okay? And someone might say, well, okay, the original, it was in Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek. But I believe that the King James Bible is the word of God. I do have a playlist, so just stick out. I just want to show you just in case. That way, you might have came to the video and don't even know what we're talking about. So the thing is that there's these new Bibles. They take out words. They add words. They corrupt the word of God. And if you don't believe me, I have a playlist on my channel um, somewhere here. Um, the King James Bible. Now, YouTube, again, it's just not going to show it because I have no idea maybe why. But it's not showing the full playlist. But um, it's somewhere there, okay? And then if you go to my videos here, you're going to see here, you know, New Age Bible versions. You're going to get all these um, here. But there is a playlist. But look at video after video and just watch the videos, okay? Because this is a big deal. And this video, it's a real concern and I have to address it because it got 200 some thousand views. And a lot of times then when the videos start getting the views, then sometimes they get promoted. But this thing, I read the comments and I try to kind of gauge a video with the comments. And I'm reading what people are saying and there's a couple of people are saying, well, I read the King James Bible, but this video is just so funny they say and that's a big concern because in the video it's like mocking and ridiculing and we're talking about the word of god okay if it'd be something about like some book that it still would be wrong in my opinion to do so but we're talking about the word of god what is this going to do it's going to get people to not take the bible serious when you're just making fun of it so I'm not going to play the video because they do a song and then it tries to get stuck in your head. And then that song gets stuck in your head like, oh, the King James Bible is somehow not good. But you notice that this argument is just based on not facts. Why not actually show them the history of the King James Bible and then compare it to these new versions that, again, take out the word of God? So I'm going to show you from, and if he's watching, please check out the playlist. Again, you'll be able to find it. I can send it to you. Um, if you write in the comment section, I should be able to send you a link to the playlist. Now, you don't have to watch all 80 videos, but the point is you can watch some of the videos and see for yourself. There's books written on the subject, you know, why the King James Bible and why it's a big deal. Remember, if Satan in the garden, he basically, he says, did God really say that? You know, in, in when he was trying to, you know, tempt um, Eve, did, oh, did God really say that? And... That's what these new versions, I think, do because by them taking out words and stuff, like you just have to see in the playlist, it's a doctrine issue too. They take out the Son of God. They take out Christ. They take out blood. They take out Jesus. They take out things like the Word of God. They take those things out. They remove it. So you can't just say, oh, it's just a little bit. It's just a little, little thing. It's a big deal. They're taking out things like Jesus, Christ, blood, the Son of God, virgin, right, for Mary. They just take that out. No longer is Mary a virgin. And that's a central doctrine, I think, to the gospel because it shows that Jesus was conceived through the Holy Ghost and Mary was a virgin when she conceived Jesus. But the new versions say young maiden, no longer a virgin. So how can you say it's not a big deal? And for those comments in here that say, oh, I read the King James Bible, but this video is so funny, you might want to check and see how much you're for the faith because if this video persuades you and says oh i still like the word of god but this video is too funny we're gonna see this video is wrong i'm gonna i'm not gonna play the video again because it'll get stuck in your head maybe but you're gonna see the comments so let's see if i can see this other uh, captions so they're all serious and then this is here she's like i don't understand what you're saying so right away it's that argument Oh, I can't read the King James Bible because it's too hard to understand. But a lot of people that say that, they never even really tried to read it. And again, there's words that you're not going to understand. And I was just thinking of yesterday or two days ago, do you just give up English class? Do you just give up math? Oh, well, you know, this is a little bit hard for me. And, you know, I'm not going to really spend the time learning, I guess, and just drop the class. 
you know, um, sometimes you have to work your way up to that. You know, you just don't usually start with something complex like a math equation. You start over years learning. And it does take time to learn the Bible. But to say that you just can't understand it, that's not that's not of the truth to say that, oh, you can't understand the King James Bible. So, again, they're using a song, a parody, satire, ridicule. Like, I don't understand what you're saying. And, again, now, this is going to reach a lot of young people because people identify with the video and who's shown here. So they're showing them and they're acting. If you hear the voices, they're going to be, like, really intense. Like, I can't understand what you're saying. You know, like, really. Tr and then they rhyme it with the instruments. So they're doing all these things, whether on purpose or not. And this song will get stuck in your head and how they're saying it. And, like I said, they're... You'd have to hear and what she, how she sounds, but again, I don't want to get like a copyright thing. She's like, then she repeats herself and the over the over the, over the top facial expressions, like like really, did it have to be like that dramatic? And we're talking about the Bible here, so this is this is actually leading people away from the Bible. I'm going to show you more proof. And again, it just everybody says, oh, this is so funny. No, it's not. This is actually an attack on the Word of God because they're taking Bible verses. Like, I'm just in Song of Solomon, and God sets these things up. It's not by chance. A lot of times these videos work themselves out. But thy love is better than wine. And then, you know, that's Song of Solomon. And I think, what don't you understand about that, really? So you can't understand that someone's love is better than wine? It seems pretty easy to understand for me. She still doesn't understand. And trying to play. Like there's no word like in the King James Bible. Again, it talks about people that corrupt the word of God. There's no trying to. If that's what he said, you know, the caption could be a little bit. But now they're just making up words. And the English Standard Version is full of mistakes. It's corrupting the word of God. Again, they take things out like Christ, like Jesus, the Son of God, like sin and hell. They take out things like hell right there. And, oh, no big deal. No big deal. Read whatever book you want. Uh, really? Can you imagine preaching to someone again, going to someone and not being able to even tell them about hell because it's not in the new versions? Oh, what's that word? I, I'm not really sure uh, what you mean by that. And just see the playlist. I got it about Hades. I got it on the playlist. Warning about that. I got videos specifically about the English Standard Version. The ESV, like, and the thing is, okay, I'm just going to continue, but I have the playlist. If Again, the, this is not some argument. This is not some debate. These are facts that they take out, like, Jesus himself out of these new Bibles. What more do you need to hear other than that? But, again, see the subject? These Bibles came out hundreds and hundreds of years, hundreds of years later, and they just removed stuff. Uh, thousands of words changed. You know why? Part of it, they can make more money, right? So they can sell new Bibles and sell them. The love of money is the root of all evil, right? The, money, lo the love of money is the root of all evil. And some coveted after have erred from the faith. They have erred from the faith by coveting after money. You shall not add or remove from the word of God. Otherwise, you're not going to be, your name's not going to be written in the book of life. So this is not just some like, well, side issue. Uh, the people that are going to write the Bible and then take out stuff like we talked about um, from the Bible itself, they're warned that they'd be removed from the book of life. Now, if you're reading one of these new versions, I'm not saying you're not a Christian. And they're going to bring this in the video saying, well, see, you're not really a Christian because you don't read the King James Bible. Now, some people might have said that. Again, some of these Bibles I've seen, they'll write before you even open the Bible and get to Genesis. They'll say like, oh, we don't really believe the Trinity. And that's the InterVarsity Bible, InterVarsity. There's like a college program on campus. And their own Bible that they have, printed by their press, when you get start, uh, started at the Bible, they say, oh, we don't believe in the Trinity. So like, you know, obviously, you know, that's what people are believing. And the Trinity is in the Bible. I got videos about it. And then you could question, say, okay, I'm not sure this person doesn't believe in the Trinity. They're using a Bible right at the beginning of the Bible that says we don't believe in the Trinity, which is a lie. It's not of truth. That's a doctrine of a devils. But maybe you didn't know that. So, again, if you didn't know this, just check out the playlist, honestly, because maybe you didn't know that and thinking that, you know, 
I'm judging you and I'm not, but I am what I'm judging is that if you have a Bible and it says that, oh, the Trinity is not true, or let's say you opened up a Bible and they said Jesus and they changed and he is the son of God. But let's say they tried to say, oh, that's not true. You no longer had the Bible at that point. So like some of these Bibles, I wouldn't consider Bibles, you know, just like I said, if you got opened up a Bible and said, well, he's not really this. He is the son of God. And if you have a Bible that says differently, I wouldn't consider it a Bible. It'd be one that shouldn't be used. And then again, again, Trina, I think, is that what he's saying? That's not even in the King James Bible. See, they think it's just a translation. Like, well, you got to go back to the Greek and Hebrew. I believe it's the word of God. Okay, I, God made the languages, right? Do you believe God made you? Do you believe God made the earth? So then why can't he write a book? <laughs> really? Of course he could. And then the word me thinks. Um, some our authors were writing like that, but as far as I remember, no, that's not even a word in the King James Bible. So why is this important? Because he's making a video poking, to me, it looks like poking fun at the King James Bible and trying to me thinks, and those words are not even in the King James Bible. And now he brings the new uh, American Standard Bible. And that's, again, full of uh, mistakes and corrupt. They take those things, same things out. Like we said, they take out Jesus, they take out sin, they take out hell. They take out even, um, I'd have to see it, but probably things even like heaven sometimes. They take out all these verses and stuff. It's whole verses, right? No longer, you know, they take out stuff, whole narratives, you know, um, just gone. Like, I think it's the woman that was caught in adultery. They take out the ending. It's either that or the woman at the well. They take out the ending. Um, I think maybe the woman at the well. I, I'd have to see which one now in my memory. But they take out whole verses. Like, you just, you, you're missing a whole stuff in these new ver versions. Like, oh, gone is this. They take just, here's like eight verses. Oh, the footnotes say this shouldn't be in there. So then you have these footnotes and say, oh, this shouldn't really be in the Bible. This whole story about, again, I can't remember it's now, if it's the woman at the well or the woman caught in adultery. But there's something like that, or maybe both. But I think it's one of them. And they say, oh, this really isn't in the older manuscript. Shouldn't really be in there. And again, like tattoos, if you have tattoos, God doesn't want tattoos. And this whole snake and a serpent, um, you know, I think that's a occultic Gnostic tattoo. And yeah, I realized the serpent um, from the Bible. So like, I don't know, you know, if that's a reference there when you took it, but they also have, you know, satanic most of the tattoos are satanic guys and God doesn't want you to mark up your body. Now let's say you got a tattoo and then became a Christian or you unfortunately got a tattoo and you were a Christian and you're like, why did I do that? Well then you don't, you don't have to make a video showing it off. Like you could easily cover this tattoo up and um, you know, again, so like, I'm not sure I'm not saying it's like for hundred percent, you know, it could be, you know, the serpent on the pole, but, the thing, the thing about that, it's still not an accurate representation of that because it wasn't like a serpent wrapped around a pole. Um, I'll show you maybe if I have time. It was a serpent um, in the wilderness, and we'll just show you now. So, like, I don't know again if this video was done on purpose or uh, you know what's what's going on here with that um, video. So it talks about in the New Testament in John three fourteen and Moses and as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. So then if you want to see um, the, what that's a reference to, we could see it here. And um, it's about I'm just going to read some of it in numbers. And the Lord said unto Moses, make thee a fiery serpent and set, up, set it upon a pole. And it shall come to pass that everyone that is bitten, when he looketh upon it, shall live. And, a, and Moses made a serpent of brass and put it upon a pole. And it came to pass that if the serpent had bitten any man. When he beheld the serpent of brass, he lived. Now, he put it on a pole, right? And I just don't think this is an accurate representation if that's what it's supposed to be, like, wrapped around it. But... Maybe that's what he's trying to get at, but like I said, I've seen somewhere like 
stay away from those things but that tattoo like that picture seems similar to you know some like bad occultic tattoos that i think i've seen so um from what i understand you know this is not an accurate picture of it you know but if you look at it it was you know we had jesus nailed to the cross so i think it'd be something similar with the serpent like maybe they put it on the pole and i don't know if it says let's see if i go back here just one second they just set it upon a pole so you know from what i understand you know we don't have a picture of it but i'll just i guess i'll move on but again god doesn't want tattoos and again it's talking about like this you know the, the bible the earrings like he's got both ears pierced guys and the bible says you know the feminine won't inherit the kingdom of heaven so you know god knows like you know god's going to be the judge so like you know you start getting your ear pierced and both ears pierced and you know i think both ears pierced this looks more like a feminine thing so like you got to understand just because someone says they're a christian you know what's their fruit and in this case he says it's time for my next chick to wed if and yeah they had more than one wife in the old testament they were raising a seed but god wants you to have one wife and it makes it clear in the new testament so this is wrong to have it in there and in fact he has a part um in here where he talks about he wants like it sounded like a plan to lay with someone so it sounded to me like fornication and the bible says fornicators shall not inherit the kingdom of heaven and there's a thing in here um if i go here Again, you can see it for yourself. He talked about a plan to lay with someone. Like he had this plan um, to lay with someone. And why don't you use the new, the new King James Bible takes out words like hell. So the new King James Bible doesn't even, they take out hell like 20, I forget, 22, 23 times it takes out hell in the new King James Bible. So then again, we go to here. And again, if he's, it's somewhere here where he says he has some plan to lay with someone. Um, and then they say, you think I'm saved, right? And that's the only thing there. So this gives people a bad name that uses the King James Bible because she uses a different version and she's like, you still think I'm saved, right? In other words, you still think I'm a Christian, right? Oh no, you don't use a King James Bible. Now, if this is like, people are coming across this and then next I'm going to try to tell them like, oh yeah, you should read the King James Bible. If you read English, if they've seen this video, they're going to think that I'm, you know, oh, you don't think I'm a Christian because I don't read the King James Bible because they watched one of these videos. So, like, um, you know, I hope this person just takes the video down. You know, I made some videos that I regret. And, you know, sometimes you can get kind of caught up in uh, making videos and those things where maybe you don't really think like you should and put stuff in. Um, but... Again, like, I don't know. I, again, I thought I saw something where he said something about like a plan to lay with her or something. Um, I just can't find it. Oh, yeah. Here it is. He says um, about his plans being ruined to lay with me. And, you know... So what was he planning? How was he planning to lay with her? You know, um, and when you have plans to lay with someone, sometimes it can be something that's, you know, oh, I'm going to try to get this person to sleep with me. And it's, it's like outside of marriage and it's fornication, the Bible says, and it's a sin. Um, it almost seems like that's the case here. You know, they don't, um, you know, talks about marrying more than one woman like we saw here. Um, so I'm just going to leave it at that. See, look at that. And he just says chick, you know. That, again, this is this is such a bad video because the Bible, you know, is very careful. God is very careful what he uses as his words. He doesn't use slang. So if you get like a Bible that says, oh, I'm going to make a Bible and it's going to be the slang Bible, the holy slang Bible. And that's what he's doing, slang here. My next chick to weddeth. 
and he ta just talked about sleeping. He had plans to try to sleep with her, and this is going to be his next next chick to try to wed. Why? So he can sleep with her. You know, the Bible says the heart is deceitful above, I mean, wicked. The heart is wicked, uh, desperately wicked, and who can know it? And you know, you think you're just getting this video, and it's supposed to be some kind of video, and oh, you can use whatever Bible you want, kind of video. But that's not the truth. You know, the truth is that some of these Bibles corrupt the Word of God. Um, a, a lot of them, actually. And if you read English, use the King James Bible. Wouldn't you want the Word of God? And again, just think about it. These other ones take out verses. How would you feel if you wrote a book and, oh, I'm just going to take a couple pages out here. Well, you wouldn't like that if you wrote the book, would you? But in this case, it's more than a couple pages because the Bible is really big and it comes out to like thousands and thousands of words. Like, I don't know, if, I forget if the NIV is like 30 or 40,000 changes or something like that. And we're talking about like 34, and I might, I might be low on that number, but it's something like that, like tens of thousands of changes. Oh yeah, I, I would be happy if I, I wrote a book and someone made 30,000 changes. And I would say, oh, what's the difference? You can, you can read it. It's the same book. There's no, there's no difference. How would that make any sense? If there's, you know, 30,000 changes or whatever it is, um, we can look it up here real quick. And then someone says, well, it, it's still all the same. Let's see, I'm just trying to find it, but you could find it somewhere, you know, one of these books. Maybe I have a type in King James Bible. But again, the search engines sometimes are hard. But that, there's so many changes compared to the King James Bible. But I guess I can't find it here, but how many, like, let's say 30,000, let's say 40,000, 40,000. Again, I can't remember if it's like 30,000, 40,000. See if that worked. I can't find it, but well, so so maybe it's something like that. So this has been a video of warning. And again, if the person's watching the video, just realize you made a wrong video and you need to take it down. Okay. And if you're in the comment section and thought, Oh, this is a funny video. I, I read the King James Bible. And if you watch this video, realize it's, it's actually, you know, a bad video and it's got evil in it. And maybe you didn't realize that. And, um, you know, I'm just trying, I'm just trying to contend for the faith because if you stop contending for the faith and take any Bible and, Oh, it doesn't really matter kind of deal. And then st other stuff goes like, oh, it doesn't matter how you dress when it does matter how you dress. And they might call you a Pharisee or something, but just know that God does have standards. And um, part of that is stuff like dress and uh, holiness, the Bible says too. And But you can dress up real good and still not be a holy and a hypocrite. So God doesn't want you to be a hypocrite. So this has been a video just trying to defend the word of God. And you can believe that, you know, the King James Bible is the word of God and um, again, you can check out the playlist if you want. So uh, thanks for watching and God bless.